So in this video, I am going to talk about the multiplication of the viroid. Remember, whenever we discuss the uh, virus and viroid, they actually multiply, they actually replicate by the one unique mechanism called as the rolling cycle mechanism. Now, what is the rolling cycle mechanism? The viroid genome is round. Suppose this is RNA polymerase 2 which is present in the host and due to presence of this enzyme this strand which is denoted as the positive can be replicated and suppose this is start replication here and they will replicate this so this will be negative and the replication of the whole genome without detachment of this they continuously do the replication so continuously this particular copy is actually synthesized so from here to here this is one replication from here to here this is another replication but they are not detaching from each other and this type of dna or this type of rna when we find the same copy in the regular interval so this is called as the concatemeric rna if DNA has the same copy continuously, those will be called as the concatemeric uh, DNA. So this is the rolling cycle mechanism by which viroid actually multiply. But there is the two type of multiplication. Viroid shows asymmetric multiplication and symmetric multiplication. Now what is the asymmetric multiplication and what is the symmetric multiplication? The asymmetric multiplication is actually shown by the POSPI viroid D and the system, uh, uh, symmetric uh, multiplication is seen by the absan viroid d remember i have told that viroid is a group it has two family posti viroid and absan viroid and the posti viroid shows the asymmetric multiplication and absan viroid shows the symmetric multiplication but now what is the asymmetric multiplication what is the symmetric multiplication i'll discuss in a clear picture remember i have told that it shows the uh, rolling cycle mechanism so this is the positive stand and there is the RNA polymerase 2 RNA polymerase 2 here only RNA polymerase 2 is used not 3 so due to presence of RNA polymerase 2 it will produce the concatemeric RNA because it has the same copy for multiple time so this will be negative because this is the positive and the replic due to the replication it will be negative so here in the asymmetric multiplication what happens after the multiplication of these after the producing of this negative strand they will cut from here because of the self cleaving activity and after cut they will produce this like this and th this all will be negative and then they will show the circularization because the viroid RNA is circular and they will produce this but this will be negative okay from here they will again replicate and produce the positive stand from this circular this is negative and here they will bind with RNA polymerase 2 now they will produce the positive strand because this is negative and now after the producing this positive strand they will again circularized and they will produce the positive so from here you can get here so this is the asymmetric multiplication now what is the symmetric multiplication now in case of symmetric multiplication again this is rna strand which is positive and this is the rna polymerase 2 they will produce the concatemeric rna but here they will not cut rather this is negative rather they will show the replication and if you consider these two this portion so this is now omitted now this is the replicated portion which is concatemeric rna which is negative strand and they will show the replication they will produce the positive strand now they will cut here and after the cutting here they will show this but they will be positive in the asymmetric there was these are the negative but now they are positive because of the pre-replication 
now after the now after this they will undergo the circulation from here they will produce from here they will produce and this will be positive so here we there is the rna uh, of the viroid which is positive now we are getting the positive so the method is different if you have not understood please again watch the uh, video for two times three times because because this is too much easy so that's for today in the next video we'll discuss some disease how they transmit and what is the measurement